I only after 40 minutes. I was going to say, I've been tweaking <laughs> audio for 40 minutes trying to get this audio right. And now the camera don't want to focus. Thank you. But uh, welcome to another episode. If you're new. Welcome to the... <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the, welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're on OG, please act like you got some sense in front of our guests. Today's video, we got a few topics I actually want to talk about. Um, uh, besides getting this engineering problem fixed with mm -hmm. the audio and mm -hmm. the visuals, uh, I'm actually kind of excited to record now that we're recording. So we got a few topics. Yep. Uh, can we talk about mine? Did we talk about yours? Okay. Because my memory is like absolutely garbage, and I think you have <laughs> way more to talk about than I do. Okay. I want to talk about this Monique thing and right. D.L. Hughley. Right. So I want to give you guys a, a real, real quick snap. So I promise I won't be long with it. Monique, D.L. Hughley, both performing at the same show. Mm -hmm. Monique wants to close. Mm -hmm. D.L. wants to close. Mm -hmm. They both have paperwork saying that they, they, uh, they're, the, they're the closers. Mm -hmm. The tickets show as if D.L. Hughley is the closer. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, D Monique had an actual contract. D.O. Hughley had an agreement, which is not the same as a contract. Right. Monique goes on stage. She bashes D.O. Hughley. D.O. Hughley responds to what she did on stage. He she killed her for 10 minutes. He killed her for like 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. D.O. No, Monique goes on him after him, after him on IG Live. He responds on his radio show. She pretty much goes to war and she won't stop talking about him. She still, she uploaded something again about him today. She's yeah, been she uploading stuff about him nonstop. Monique and he, him is beefing. She decides to mention his family, his daughter. He had an instance where his daughter was, uh, um, I'm going to say S aid for the sake of monetization mm -hmm. on YouTube. She was S aid. Um, and he didn't have his daughter's back, which is not right. We're not going to justify that whatsoever. Okay. All right. That's what happened. She, Monique went after that. Mo right. Now, don't get me wrong. Dio Hughley has spoken about it publicly. I have to be, I have to lay out all the facts. Mm -hmm. Dio has spoke about this publicly. About the issue with his daughter. With his daughter. Okay. Whatever they handle behind the scenes ain't my business. Cause that's a very, very serious topic. Mm -hmm. Um, Monique decides to bring it back up and use it as ammo to go after Dio. Monique stands are standing up for her. You know, most of the most of the people are going against Monique. She has stands that are standing up for her. I was arguing with them too. And <laughs> Who do you not argue with? <laughs> boom. There we go. Now you can say how you feel before I get there. You can go how you feel. That's pretty much what happened. Monique, give it up. I am so <laughs> tired of hearing about Queens of Comedy and all of this stuff that you've done. You know Queens of Comedy came out 2001. I looked it up before we did the video. It came I know. out 2001. Yeah, I know. And We that, were nine years old when it came out. That was 11 years we, ago. We, we were, no, that was more than 11 years ago. 2001. Oh, 21 oh, one. years ago. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, we're in Sorry, we're, I was we're thinking in of 2011. Uh, yes. That was, you said 2001, right? 2001. 20. One yes. years ago. Yes. I was going to say, don't mess this math up because I ain't doing that. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking the wrong year. All right. 21 years ago. I'm sorry. Why are you still holding on to that? Like, I, I, I have to say this. I'm sorry, but you are a has been. That she is, and it's funny because I hate that term because I, I do I, too. I, I feel like our culture doesn't necessarily respect its legends, mm -hmm. but I, I think there's a difference. Like when you have something timeless, mm -hmm. I think it's cool to hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Things that Snoop Dogg did in the past mm -hmm. is timeless. Right. Things that Dr. Dre did in the past timeless things that even beyonce has done in the past mm -hmm. timeless we have artists male and female who have created art that is timeless mm -hmm. i mean i would even even if you want to talk about comedians i would say like bernie mac timeless. even though he's gone now a lot of his stuff is is timeless he's this, legendary this, this is how you know you're timeless as a comedian people can quote your jokes and i mean not just your diehard fans but just mm -hmm. the average person can culture jokes because I love Bernie Mac, but I wasn't a diehard fan of Bernie Mac. Mm -hmm. But I can talk to you about his stand up. Yeah. I can quote you the milk and cookies joke yeah. about his, uh, or I can quote you about the slow kids that he's made fun of. I'm not calling him slow. I'm sorry, but that's the Bernie Mac joke. Just mess up the focus. <laughs> I can I can quote those jokes. Right. I can quote. I ain't scared of you. You mfers. Right. I can and quote, it's kind of like it's still like. 
relatable to in this day and age. Yes, I can quote his jokes verbatim even without being a stand of him. Yeah. All right. Monique, I can tell you what the basis of her material was, mm -hmm. but I cannot quote you a joke. And that's not even to be on a hate and stuff. I can't quote you a joke. I know the general synopsis synopsis of her her jokes when she was heavier mm -hmm. was I'm fat and I hate skinny girls. That was the general synopsis of her her character. She was a she was a caricature. Yeah. Just like just like Kevin Hart. I'm not a huge fan of Kevin Hart. He's changing the style of right. Mm -hmm. I think the movie where he lost his wife, she passed away during delivery. Wow. He had to raise a child. I think he's doing more things that are amazing. Yeah. But when he first came out, he was sort of like that too. He was the small guy. Mm -hmm. Everything revolved around him being small, little guy jokes and stuff like that, corny stuff. Right. And he's growing, but I don't think that Monique has grown. And I'm not a fan of her type of comedy. Mm -hmm. um, I think that if if your if your jokes are meant to make people say, I know that's right, and clap instead of laugh, I don't think that you're funny. Mm -hmm. I think that you you could be entertained, but I don't think you're funny. And I don't think Mo is is funny. I don't know why I went. What was I? What were we going with that? Um, uh, about oh, about her, her being a has been. Yeah. But, so I don't. The thing is, I'm not trying to go her. I'm not one of those people that are ungrateful mm -hmm. for the, the the culture before us. A lot mm -hmm. of my favorite music is older than myself. Same. But when you are holding on to something like the Queens of Comedy, right? I, I seen this content creator. I forgot his name. I want to give him credit because I don't. I don't. I don't like quoting somebody and just stealing their quote and not giving them credit. <laughs> He's actually one of the recent videos I watched, so this won't take long. His name is the Black Development Network. All right. Mm -hmm. He said a quote that I, I like. Um, he said something along the lines of um, the Queens of comedy and the Kings of comedy are like the all star game. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who opened or who closed, which is what Monique liked to point out that she closed for the Queens of comedy comedy and he opened for the Kings of comedy. Mm -hmm. It's like the all star game. No one cares. Like, yes, you want to be a starter. Mm -hmm. But if you are a starter or even coming off the bench, your resume is going to say all-star. Yep. All-star. It's not still going. still played on the team. Yeah. No one cares. Like, I've never looked at the Kings of Comedy and said, yo, the closer. I don't even remember who closed. Was, it, was it Bernie Mac? Like, I'm, I I'm just assuming. I don't even, I have I don't no even idea. know who closed. I don't, I, as a fan, I don't care about that right. to keep it a buck with you. As, and personally, like, I know who the kings of comedy are. I know who the queens of comedy are. But like you said, I don't Mo know Nick what isn't order. isn't even the funniest queen of comedy. She needs to stop that. I don't care if she was the closer. She's not the funniest queen of comedy. I think some more is funnier than her. I got to see who who's all on the Queens of Comedy because I know Monique was such a big personality. Mm -hmm. I don't remember all the Queens of Comedy because, again, once again, this was 2001. Yeah. I was only nine I was years old. actually just watching this recently. Um, I forget the other girl's name. Let me see who. But she's uh, a she's a, a big um, star, too. Uh, so Samora's funny. Mm -hmm. The I forgot her name. Yeah, I was saying, I always forget her name. The one on the far left, she is funny too. Oh, here we go. Adele Givens, Samora, Laura Hayes, and Monique. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna comment on Laura Hayes. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even remember her being a queen of comedy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't comedy for me. I don't even remember her. Like mm -hmm. I don't know who this person is. <laughs> and I've seen that one. Yeah, I, I know up. who she is. Uh, because I was like I said, I actually watched was this she not funny? too long ago. Dude, was she funny for you? Was she? Uh, she was okay. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, some more is funny. Mm -hmm. Adele Givens is, is funny. Mm -hmm. They crack jokes. I've seen them do like Comic View. I've seen them do um, not just Comic View, Deaf Comedy Jam. Mm -hmm. I've seen their their material, and they are really, really legitimately funny. Yeah. You saying that you open and close is is, and I don't want this to sound off like I'm a Dale Hughley fan, right? Because mm -hmm. if I had to rank Dale Hughley, he is one of my least favorite comedians. One oh of, yeah, I, I definitely don't, think. I don't think he's oh, funny. If you compare the the kings of comedy, I definitely think DL he's my least is favorite the out least all favorite. Because I think it was Cedric yeah. the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, Dale Hughley. And Bernie and Mac. Bernie Mac, yeah. I think that was it. Am I missing somebody? Uh, I think it was four, right? I think it was four. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not. This Like you said, this All was right, 20 we, years we ago. We missed somebody. I'm sorry. <laughs> and if they passed away, don't kill us. I'm really sorry. You know, people get super sensitive. You forget somebody. How dare you forget him? He's dead. <laughs> let's, let's just go. I didn't check. purposely not have him in my memory, bro. 
You can talk, but I'm okay. But yeah, but yeah, uh, it, it doesn't matter. You're an all star, right? You're, you're. It doesn't matter if you start or or, or close. You're a king of comedy. Yep, it doesn't agreed. matter if you started or close. You're a queen of comedy. And when she says something like that, Monique, are you saying that you were of more like? Were you? Are you implying that you're better than the other acts on a queen of queens of comedy tour because you close? What are you saying exactly? If it's that serious, when you say I, I closed and you opened. What are you saying about the opening actor from the Queens of Comedy? Right. She gives all these backhanded things. And I don't think Monique actually looks at the the kickback from her some of her comments. Like when you say D.O. Hughley has always tore down black women. Why were you attempting to work with him if you had such a problem with him? tearing? Was he not? If, if he was tearing down black women in your eyes, was he not a, a, a womanizer or this terrible person before you attempted to, to do this show with him? Right. You were attempting to do business with him. So you cannot go back and weaponize this. And this is one of my biggest problems with Monique and women like her. Mm -hmm. They they pretend because this I'm not going to pretend that women are discriminated against, especially black women. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pretend black women are discriminated against, aren't treated unfairly in the business world, un, treated unfairly in pretty much any market. Because in the office setting, there is a, a, a problem with how black women are treated, especially in positions of authority. You're not giving their just due respect. Right. I can acknowledge these things. But what I will not accept or support is Monique weaponizing that plight with women and saying things like, I'm going to fight for us. I'm going to fight for us. Monique, where is your fight for the women when you're not the one being wrong? When Monique ain't in the spotlight arguing for her own case, Monique ain't. Yo, if, 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 if um, who uh, let's say who's another a black woman that's successful right now. What's the one that's super ghetto all the time? The one she ready. Um um tiffany, tiffany haddish. haddish tiffany haddish right let's say if tiffany haddish was dealing with something right and, and tiffany haddish wasn't offered a proper a proper check would monique be fighting on behalf of tiffany haddish <laughs> Probably not. If, if tiffany haddish came out and said they not know who tiffany haddish is <laughs> like yo it's crazy no, no she did because when she tried to do a deal with netflix i think she got mad because they offered tiffany haddish more than they offered her mm -hmm. so I, I i remember tiffany haddish coming up i'll have to revisit that but I just find it hilarious that she doesn't fight for black women. She's not fighting the fight for us when not us, but you know, black yeah, okay, black women, you know what I mean. But I'm I'm fighting for us. She doesn't do that unless she's the one being affected. And I feel like it's such BS. It's so garbage to weaponize people's plight and argue uh uh, uh, uh to argue that that you're fighting for them when when you're just using them. I, I hate what don't do that. Men or women don't yeah. do that. You're not really fighting on behalf of us. You're fighting on behalf of yourself and you're using, you're using us, us as a, yeah. a shield to get where you need to go. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like it. As a stepping stone. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's just, it's like, I'm I like, and then you got to think about it too. Like money. What was the last project you've done? This is a, what have you done for me industry? Yeah. Like what, what, what was the last major project that you've done that would even warrant you to be the closer or whatever the case may you be. Just, and don't get me wrong, Dio so, hasn't done much either. I know he I has mean, his, he's still he, kind of he active. Has his radio. He does shows. I think he's hosted some things. I don't really watch award shows, but I feel like in recent times he's hosted something. I feel like I think I remember hearing something about that. Too. Yeah, I don't watch award shows, but I've 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 seen that he does stuff, and I know he currently has a radio show, yeah. and I know that he handles business a lot differently than Monique and her daddy mm -hmm. husband daddy that guy <laughs> i think that her she he handles business better than her and i think that he's more he's more relevant i mean mm -hmm. he's doing things to stay in the eye i have seen him on dj vlad mm -hmm. um i'm um, doing interviews and stuff like that but monique doesn't understand we live in a what have you done for me recently era especially if your content it's not like like comedy isn't the okay comedy isn't like music yeah you hear a song it takes you back to a time it makes you relive a moment. Mm -hmm. A joke is a little bit different when you have to come with something fresh again and again and again. So you just like when you see like comedians that 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 come with the same act all the time, mm -hmm. they they don't stay mainstream. Mm -hmm. When you see people like Aerie Spears, mm -hmm. where his stick was mimicking people, mm -hmm. more comedians came and did newer people. Mm -hmm. But Aerie Spears is still walking around doing Shaq impersonations. <laughs> we don't care about that no more, bro. 
Or he's going around and doing Denzel impersonations. Mm-hmm. Bro, the people that you impersonate aren't even relevant to this generation. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. DMX. Mm-hmm. And then Denzel's an older guy. He's not even necessarily relevant to this current generation. Yeah. Yeah. He's not even doing as many movies anymore. Yeah. So your act is, is, is old. It's dated. You're in comedy. You have to keep giving us something fresh. Monique, what are you giving us fresh? Right. What content? I can see if Monique was even doing a podcast. The 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 audacity, and the, and I, I say this to speak to the Monique stands too, because it, there are a few of you out there, and there may be somebody that comments on this video. Mm-hmm. Monique going to the table and demanding money for Netflix, and them not offering it to her, and her throwing this huge tirade and trying to set the internet on fire, thinking that will help her plight. That's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. That is not how you handle business. If I came to you and I was asking you for essentially a loan or a payment or something, and I said, hey, this is, I'm asking you to pretty much contract me out. Mm-hmm. And I say, this is how much I want. And you go, no, I have to accept that. Right. Because I don't dictate my value. The market does. Mm-hmm. So if I come to you, right, and you, and you say no, and I just blast you on social media, Monique, if you felt you had a, 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 a discrimination Mm-hmm. case or any type of wrongdoing done to you literally mm-hmm. you would have handled that legally right when you have a problem with the promoter and, and D.O. hughley and you're saying that you should have closed and he's saying that he should have closed your issue shouldn't be with D.O. hughley i think there is nothing wrong let's say if D.O. hughley wanted to close right mm-hmm. because the thing is obviously it, it must be important to them to close if monique is throwing such a hissy fit about it right you want to close D.O. hughley want to close if if D.L. Hughley wants to close over you, does, you're saying that makes him sexist? So what does that make you wanting to close over D.L. Hughley? Does that make you sexist? <laughs> does, that, does that cause, yeah. it, is that an issue? But this is this is what I want to get to. <clears throat> you want to close, D.L. Hughley wants to close. Y'all both are fighting to close. Mm-hmm. D.L. Hughley is fighting for the exact same thing you're fighting for. So where is the problem? Your problem needs to be with the promoter. If the promoter promised you closing, D.L. Hughley closing, both of y'all are supposed to be the final act. Yeah, both have some type of an agreement saying that you're going to be the final act. Then that means that your issue is not with DL. Your issue it's is with, the with whoever created the agreement. Yeah, it's with the promoter. exactly. I was just going to say the same thing. Like it seems like her your, her anger is displaced because like you can't get mad at him personally, even if he is the the you know the person behind the scenes running this whole thing you can't get mad at him you have to get mad at whoever promised both of you the same he's thing he's playing literally the same game that you're playing yeah he's playing the same game that you're playing so if you're you i find it so crazy right mm-hmm. that that is so crazy that monica is weaponizing women and saying yo that's sexist that that Mo-. like yo i don't think people understand what sexism being, i mean being sexist is yeah i don't think they understand and you can't do the exact same thing and call me sexist yeah no, you like like that. you you just can't do that it doesn't make sense we both have the same plight. We both want the same exact thing. Mm-hmm. So how am I wrong for wanting the exact same thing you want? And then why are you making it personal? You're making like, it this personal. Like this is this is business. She went out so to his you, kids. Yeah, his it's wife, like, like, like this is a business situation. So if you have a problem with the way the business was handled, then you correct the problem business. Like you said, you get a lawyer, you handle it that way. You don't attack the man's family and get personal and start talking about his 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 dog and his wife and his kids like that is personal business that that this issue yes. that y'all have is not on a personal level it's on a professional it's so level stupid. so you handle it professionally and my thing is she said that deal has said things about her in the past mo you said stuff about people too and even, you, i mean and that's she, in the she, past she, though but even but even with that if your beef was with him by saying like little stuff about people mo look in the mirror and some of the things that you've done mm-hmm. the people that you've gone against i'm not i'm not, I'm not even saying that she's i'm not even saying those people didn't do wrong by her but yeah. what i'm saying is you have publicly used your audience and went after people oprah tyler perry lee daniels d.l hughley netflix you have gone after all of these people publicly and never handled it in private you cannot sit here and try to say well why is d.l hughley speaking on kanye west and his, his wife or whatever mo you do the same thing you just talked about his daughter you re-victimized his daughter if he, if him and his daughter dealt with that situation, and Dio Hughley did an interview and came clean about what he did, and him and his daughter handled it, why are you bringing that up again in 2022 when y'all are arguing about a show? Especially something like that, like and, and the, the daughter un- even said, "Yo, can you leave me out of it? Leave my family out of it, right?" Because the family has nothing again. to do with that. That's a personal issue. You 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 deal with a professional issue professionally. You get a lawyer. You you have the first of all, if, if you had a if you had a contract. 
your lawyer should have looked over your contract anyway. Yeah, if you had a case, you have a contract. Don't if 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 my thing is this. If you pay, if you were paying me five hundred thousand to hit the stage, mm -hmm. you breached our contract. I'm probably going to sue you for a million and not hit the stage. Yeah. So now you're going to pay me more than what you would have paid me if I would have just hit the stage and you lived up to the contract. Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't Mo go after them legally if she had a case? Yeah, go That's after what them legally. That's what makes us all look suspicious. Exactly. Because my thing is, if if like you said, you had if you if you had a binding contract saying that you were supposed to do something and they did not hold up their end of the deal, you have a case to sue them for breach of contract. And she ain't she ain't online dissing the dude. She ain't online dissing the dude. It's so funny because it's like when she brought up D.L. Hughley's daughter being a, a victim, bro. You you did that to a black woman. Don't mm -hmm. say that you're there to protect black women when you're re-victimizing black women who have gotten through their struggles. Yep. Don't sit there. If, a, if you know a black woman was assaulted, why would you ever weaponize that in a public space, even if you're throwing it at somebody else right. and make it? Because now it has to be revisited. Yep. She's seeing that. She's feeling those emotions again. How dare you? And then now you have people like, because people like me who I didn't know about this situation. So now people's going to start looking now into people, it and figure out like, okay, what it. is this? And now more people's going to be talking about it. So like you said, now this girl have to live through this all, all over, over again all over. because you didn't brought all of this to the light. That is crazy to me, dog. I don't, I don't respect Mo. I feel like Mo needs to shut up, man. She's so fake. And it's funny because she's like, I'm doing this with black women. I'm doing this with black women. And then she's working with 50 Cent right now. And I'm I don't have no problem with Fifty Cent. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a fan of his content. The focus is messing up. I'm a fan He's of his content. My thing is this: How can you sit here and attack Dio Hughley when when Fifty Cent has done far worse to black women? So where's your plight? If you if you don't care about dudes that talk cra crap about black women, mm -hmm. what what come, come on, bro? We're talking about Fifty Cent. The same Fifty Cent. What's the what's the the girl who plays um the black woman on his show? Uh, the mother that was in Witness Protection. What's her real name? Um, no, 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 Tori, no, Tori. I don't know how. What, don't whatever her name is, her. He was he was talking crap about her her braids and her forehead and her hairline being so far back. He went after her publicly. He really? was beefing with Taraji P. Uh, Henson publicly. He rapped about Vivica J. Fox. They they were sleeping Vivica around. A Fox. A Fox. Yes. Who's J. Fox? I don't Did know. Did I just make it up? <laughs> Probably. All right, whatever. <laughs> Vivica, when him and Vivica was messing up, messing around, and she fell in love with him, and he just dropped her and moved on about his business. And then he rapped about it. He said, when I was with Vivica, I thought I was on to something. And then I woke, then the next day, man, it was nothing. He rapped in his lyrics. This dude, wow. this dude, and I, I'm not bashing him. I'm sorry. I like 50 Cent. All right? I like a little yeah. bit of trolling. I like a little bit of trolling. And he got some classic music on his belt, so I like him. But... You saying that you're protecting black women and you're all for black women and then you're working with this one. Right. You are full of crap. And I, I feel like we should upload this separate. Like we could do the podcast thing. We upload the whole episode. Okay. But I feel like this should be uploaded separately at the same time so people see it. And I feel like it should be titled, Shut Up, Mo. <laughs> Mo, shut up. Or something along those lines because that's exactly how I feel. I, I feel like she's lying to people. She's full of crap. Yeah, I just, I, it's it's sad because it's like, <laughs> I I used to kind of like Monique. I've liked a lot of the stuff that she's done. I, I can say that. A lot of the I movies and like, stuff that, like she's done, that she's done, I've liked a lot of it. But I can say the whole... Like what? I'm sorry, before you even go for it. Like what? What do you like from her? Like the movies and stuff that she's Anything. done? Anything. What do you like from her? I like Fat Girls. Fat Girls was... Trash. Was okay. <laughs> Crazy trash. Um, but that's that gimmick I was talking about. Continue. Yeah. But it was like, um, what was that movie? I don't remember the name of it. She wasn't a main character. She was like a, a secondary character. Like Beauty Shop? Uh, was she a Beauty Shop or Barber Shop? Was she one of those? No. She had like a side role or something? You're probably thinking of... Um, what's her face? Oh, the other Queen, queen of Comedy was actually in that movie too. She was a, a radio host. The queen, other Queen of Comedy, she was a radio host. A oh, radio host and what? Oh, and and Beauty Shop. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Adele. Um, but no, I can't think of you. you, you I don't know everything. I can't think of right. I mean, Precious was an okay movie. I mean, she played her role really good in Precious. That was an okay movie. And then um, there's another movie. I forget the name of it that she was like behind like she wasn't a main character but it was her part was okay I think Precious the only thing I'll give I'll give her credit for you uh, even though I think it's a, a terrible character that she played I mean she had to do it right somebody had to play that character so I'll, I'll give her her credit even though it's wild in my opinion her best performance mm -hmm. was her being just as malicious and nasty as she is in real life but you can continue 
I mean, I can't think of everything that, sh- that she's. You, did you like the uh, the Parkers? The Parkers was was decent. I actually was binge watching that a lot too long ago. I didn't that like the way trash. it ended, but um, I mean, it was it was it was okay. It was garbage. <laughs> it wasn't. I think I I I don't I don't mind the Parkers. I think it's garbage. Why? I don't think it's good. I just don't think it's good. It was it was the same plight. It was the whole fat girl thing, right? Because she was like Professor Ogilvy wasn't she wasn't his type, right? And she was like the thirsty big girl who couldn't get. She was she was a stereotype. The show was pretty much a stereotype. She was the big girl who couldn't get the man that she wanted. They, I think they eventually did get together or something like that. Yeah, they got they got I think they got mirrored at the end. I don't I don't know whatever, but I know for the most part she was the big girl chasing a dude that didn't want her. She was a stereotype essentially. That was pretty much ninety percent of her comedy, her content. I'm big. I'm a big girl. Where my big girls at? Who you don't want me because I'm fat? I'm gonna chase you for like three or four years on television. And then I'm going to bash skinny girls. That has literally been her shtick the entire time. Which is I mean, probably why she's still walking around talking about Queens of Comedy. <laughs> I guess. But, like, I'm just saying, I did like some of the stuff that she's done. So, I'm, I'll, I'll give her that. But mm-hmm. the whole skinny girls and all that stuff, it did get old pretty fast. But. <laughs> she was trash. It did get old. But, anyways, um, back to the story. I just don't think it was it was not handled properly. There, there, no way ever should a professional matter be taken out on someone's family who had nothing to do with this. That shit is why they had absolutely no part in this entire agreement, the deal, the contracts, and nothing. And there is, you should not have took that out on them because they had nothing to do with that, and that was not right. Nope. And I don't know who is, I don't know if she's doing this by herself, like attacking all these people, or of her daddy have something to do with this mm-hmm. if he's in her ear or she has you know whoever is counseling her on what she's doing because I, I honestly I don't think there's any counseling I think there's just gaslighting where like he just pretends like whatever she does is okay I think that's what it is I think that her husband being her this is the thing I think I'm glad you brought that up because mm-hmm. I was actually trying to wrap this up and I'm glad you brought that up I will can still wrap it up but I think her business setup is a terrible. It's terrible mm-hmm. because you can't. First off, usually when you mix relationships and business, it can get it can get ugly. But I think it's doable. Mm-hmm. But when you mix business and pleasure, and one of the the the, the act the act is the sole provider, mm-hmm. right? What can he really say if he wanted to? R- really, if Mo kicked him and gave him the boot. What would he do? What is it? What is his talent? I don't know what he do. He's her manager. But I mean, yeah. But at the same time, the way she treats him and the way they interact with each other, she seems like she's the submissive type. So he could be the one pulling all the strings. He really could. It's it. it's a possibility. I don't believe it. That's the equivalent of like you see them dudes that be in the store behind their girl and got their hand in her pockets. That's usually when she buying everything. <laughs> I think they're in that situation. Like, yeah, she do the whole daddy and stuff like that, but it sounds submissive in, in nature, mm-hmm. right? But at the end of the day, she can be as submissive as she wants to be. In the back of his mind, he knows that Monique is the breadwinner. That does not change the dynamic. She can be submissive. The the submissive part is cool, mm-hmm. but that doesn't change their reality. Monique is the breadwinner. At the end of the day, he's the manager. Managers get their little ten percent or whatever cut, which because he's her husband, he's probably not getting any cut. It's probably all going to the same place. She's still a boss. I mean, I, that's a possibility, but I mean, I don't know. I just don't personally think that. I feel like there's there's something in her ear. There's somebody pulling the strings. I don't think this is all one hundred percent. I think yeah, I think he I is don't. in her ear, but I think okay. it's a matter of. It's it's like a child. If mm-hmm. you don't correct a child, right? Like mm-hmm. if I see Anaya curse, oh, I said Anaya. I shouldn't even say her name. Whatever. If I see our daughter curse, and instead of me going no, stop that, and I laugh and I encourage it, mm-hmm. she's going to think it's okay. Mm-hmm. She's going to keep doing it, right? So in in their case, I think that Monique acts out in a nasty way. He just supports her. It, it, it's his wife. It, it, look at them on the. I don't know if you've seen any of their Instagram lives, no. but you can see the not dynamic in in play when they're when they're when they're uh, streaming. Where she's like, 
you know, daddy and blah, blah, blah. Can I talk and blah, 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 blah. Bro, she can do some. She said some outlandish stuff and he hasn't corrected her. He has not corrected her. He never steps and says, hey, I mean, don't get me wrong. They say that you you support in public and correct in private. Mm -hmm. But you can tell from that dynamic, there is no way he's doing that. She's the breadwinner. He's not going to correct her. He's going to support her. It's not in his best interest to hold her accountable. What what can you, how can you hold my accountable with zero power? But no, but that's a, so that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that he's holding her accountable. I'm saying that I'm saying he's not. He's yeah. I'm saying he's that. I'm kind of in a in a way agreeing with you. I think that he's the one that's like telling her, "Hey, you need to go do this. Hey, you need to confront this." You. I think he's the one pushing her. Okay, that's to what do we. That's this. what yeah, we disagree. That's what I'm saying. I think that's what we disagree. At. You okay. think that he's pulling the strings? Yes, but she's the face of it. You think that he's pulling the strings and essentially putting the battery in her back to do these things. Yes. And I think we we disagree, but we're and we're we disagree, but we're not on separate islands. We're mm -hmm. we're on the same we're on the same planet. Mm -hmm. We just we just think that it's occurring slightly different. Okay. We both agree that he's part of the problem. Right. But I But in different in different in ways. In different ways. Yeah. You think that he's pushing her to do these things. And I think that this is the person I think Monique is who we see. And I, okay. I think that he doesn't have the balls to stand up to her and tell her. You're wrong. That's what I think. I, I respect your opinion because it is a possibility. Yeah, and, and yeah, I mean, it, it it could be a possibility too. He doesn't want to. That that is a possibility. Mm -hmm. But I, that's just what I think. I because I, I just like I said with her being from what we see the submissive type. I feel like because Subside. Monique wasn't always like this. At least we, we haven't we haven't say, seen we don't, it. We don't know this because we, we haven't seen because it. Because you you wouldn't know if she's always been like this because you have to keep in mind we are in a social media era. We are this generation is the closest to celebs we have ever been. Mm -hmm. Like in the past, right? We used to used to it used to be like catching a wild Pokemon. Like you will never encounter or be in the business of a celebrity or know anything about them, mm -hmm. and you you have to just be lucky and run into them in the street. You would never see them outside of their workplace unless you ran into them down the street. Social media now is different because now they're, they're like this. Yo, this is what we doing, blah, blah, look behind the scenes. And everybody's uploading and sharing. Mm -hmm. But in the past, it wasn't like that. So we would never know. This could have always been Monique. We just would never know. And we they often, it's funny because people often fall into this, right? She's being supposedly blackballed. People don't ask the question of why are these people blackballed? Like when people talk about, the, the thing is, I don't think people realize this, right? People try to use this. Oh, this is just how the business work when you don't bow down. <clears throat> this is how people work. Yeah. You cannot give in, you cannot give everybody your ass to kiss on the way up. And then because when you fall down, you're going to see how everybody treats you. Mm -hmm. I've seen it in my family. I've seen people big rolling, selling drugs, selling this, doing this, doing that. Mm -hmm. And they gave everybody their ass to kiss when they were successful. And then when they fell off like bad dope, everybody was like, mm, I don't know if I want to be a part of that. I'm thinking I'm going to let you handle that yourself, player. Wow. Monique might be getting canceled because she gave everybody her ass to kiss. I call it the Nicki Minaj effect. <laughs> yeah, Nicki Minaj swears up and down the whole industry turned on her for Cardi B. And it's like, no, the industry is attempting to replace you because when you were blowing up, you gave everybody your ass to kiss. I remember you coming into Breakfast Club interviews and them complaining that you were late. I remember you snapping or, or not snapping, but checking Angela Yee because she didn't necessarily listen to your project yet. I remember these things of you snapping on people and talking to people to like all kinds of crazy. Mm -hmm. I remember you disrespecting Lil' Kim, you know, and, and calling her a has-been trying to get credit. And then now you're the exact same position as Lil' Kim telling all these newer artists that they need to bow down to you and respect you for what you did for them. You gave the wow. industry your ass to kiss, and that's why you're being blackball. And I don't, I don't think people are going to be honest with Monique and say that. Like you probably, I could just imagine. Like think, look, look at how she acts now, mm -hmm. and don't nobody give a damn about her. Imagine how her attitude was when she was on top. She probably was a horrible person to work with behind the scenes. I mean, that's a possibility. I don't know. I didn't really look much into her, but I don't know. That's just what. That's just my opinion and what I think. I feel you. I feel like even if it's not her husband, I feel like there is somebody in her ear saying, hey, you need to do something. It's not right. Yada, yada, yada. But I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's it's just sad because, you know, you don't want to see another sister go through situations like that. But at the same time, you brought this on yourself. 
I was gonna say I don't subscribe to that. If you're doing stu- stupidity, if you're putting stupidity. If you're putting stupidity out in the universe, and it comes back to smack you in the face, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, you gotta let it go, man. Like, make your bread, do what you do. If you feel like you was done unjustly and the contract was broken, handle it professionally. Professionally, take it to the court system, whatever, and get some more, get some more bread out of it and walk away. Wash yep. your hands with it. Be done with it. Yep, I think we say all that to say, shut up, Mo. <laughs> Shut up, handle your business, and, and shut up. That's it. So, yeah. what's up with your topics? Oh, we still going to do that? Okay. Yeah, let's do, you, let's do your topics, <laughs> and then I'll just chop this up. We'll upload the full thing at the end of the week, okay. but for the next couple of days, we'll upload, like, episodes. So, what else you got for me? Okay, so, one thing I wanted to talk about, Um, there was a post that I saw. I'm not going to share it because it was in a um, closed group that I'm in, mm-hmm. and long story short, um, this woman said that her she was engaged to this guy mm-hmm. they was engaged to 